Hi, welcome to Lectures Training on Sunday Readings. Today we'll practice for the readings of January 2, the Feast of the Epiphany of the Lord. Our reference books say, Proclaim the first reading with joy and intensity. It is a vision of the New Jerusalem. Let your exalted tone paint the vivid imagery of throngs of people gathering in procession. It should be read with hope and anticipation for the good future that lies ahead. Observe correct pauses. One slash means a short pause. Two slashes mean a longer pause. Red line suggests you stress the words. Yellow line suggests you look at the assembly. Look at the assembly also when you begin in the middle and at the end of every thought and sentence. Say Midian, Midian, Eva, Eva, Sheba, Sheba, Dromedaries dromedaries first reading a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah rise up in splendor Jerusalem your light has come the glory of the Lord shines upon you see Darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Epha, all from Sheba, shall come bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you, for he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you, The second reading is short, so don't hurry through it. It should be read with awe and wonder 
as we read the mysterious design of God's plan for His people. Stress the underlined words, especially now, for emphasis. This is the main theme. Distinguish carefully three distinct images. Co-heirs, same body, and co-partners. Say, Ephesians, Ephesians, or Ephesians. Stewardship, or stewardship, heirs. Second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the Gospel. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Join me again next week for the readings on the first Sunday in Ordinary Time. It is the baptism of the Lord. Until then, goodbye and God bless you all.